When you're sending email invitations to your survey, you have two priorities. One, your invitation should reach your participants. Two, your invitation should look good and engage your participants. Customizing your outbound email settings can help with both. Let's break down your options into three parts. Choosing the right mail servers, verifying sender email, and authenticating sender domain. The mail servers you use are your delivery system for sending invitations and reminders. By default, emails are sent through our mail servers. We support your delivery and ensure you are able to track participation through our platform. If you prefer, you can use your own mail server. If you know that your participants cannot receive emails from an outside server, for example, you may choose this option. To use your own mail server, go to Account Settings, then select Outbound Email Settings. Click here to send from your own mail server. A warning message will pop up reminding you that you'll probably need to check in with your IT team. Click Edit, provide the requested details, and Save. An email will be sent to the address you provided. Click the link in the email to authenticate the email relay setup. If you're using your own mail server, you can skip the rest, you're all set. If you're using our mail servers, you will need to verify any address you use as a sender address. This security feature ensures that addresses are used appropriately and participants recognize the sender. You may set up a new sender address at any time, but it must be done before sending invitations. You may also reset to defaults as needed and simply use your own email address as a reply to address. We strongly recommend that you do not use a public domain email address like Gmail, Yahoo, etc. as your sender address. You will not be able to authenticate the domain and email delivery may also be affected. To verify an email address, go to Account Settings, then click on Outbound Email Settings. Click Add Email and enter a new address. You will be sent an email that includes a verification link. Click the link and you're verified. Finally, your last option is authenticating your sender domain. Remember, you won't be able to authenticate a domain that you don't own, such as a public domain. If you've set up your own mail server, nothing more to do. However, if you're using our servers, you can still make it look like your emails come from your domain by changing these settings. You'll see the options you need under Account Settings, Outbound Email Settings. Clicking Authenticate will provide you with the instructions you need to make changes to your domain's DNS settings. If you prefer, you can email these directly to the right person who can make these changes. Once your settings are updated, your authentication status will be updated too. One final note, if you're sending an internal survey, we'd suggest whitelisting. Whitelisting ensures your invitations get through with permission, rather than being blocked by firewalls or spam filters. You'll find details in our user guide. Make sure your emails look good and get where they're going, and you'll see great results.